Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and a video I never actually intended to make, but happy accident and I'm glad it turned out the way it did. So first, before we get into it, let me give you a little bit of context. So a gamer who I really rate did an amazing Mav kill using a repair tool and I'll link it in the description below because it inspired all of this. And as you can see, I got my technique down, position yourself behind the base of the turret and boom, you can get them, fantastic. But something really interesting happened. As I was practicing this, I found that I was having a very high success rate of provoking the drivers of the tank to jump out and try and deal with me, which meant I ended up stealing a lot of tanks like you're seeing here and that gave me the GTA overlay idea for a little bit of lols. So I set myself a challenge without being too silly about it. In the space of one evening, how many vehicles can I actually steal? How, how real a thing is this? Or will I just end up like all GTA players know? But yeah, behind this is a serious point. The repair tool in a pinch, if you find yourself out of ammo, it is quite useful. So let's have a look at some of the funnier captures, some situations where this can actually get you a legit kill in a pinch situation, and finally a few bloopers to laugh about. All right, let's get into it. Repair tool time. All right, let's start with the pure vanilla example. EMP to neutralize it. Let's see if we can steal this tank. Okay, he broke. I'm in. Unfortunately, his mate was packing an M5, so that's the end of my car theft dream. Uh, for that round, let's try again. Now, a slightly different approach here, coming in from the sky. So I see a tank, I try to do a little bit of damage to it, and when I see I got it, I go for the steal. So some dumb luck there, landed at exactly the right moment, ran someone over, that's not the star. Are we gonna get away? Now, same map in another round, I find that there's a tank on the back line chilling out. I could just kill it, he clearly hasn't seen me, but let's see if we can do a hijacking, let's try. At first I thought he was AFK, but he wakes up and he makes a pretty good plan. Can you figure out what he's trying to do? Where I am on the map. He went for the ring out, very good plan, but he lost his nerve a little bit too soon, so I'm able to get in and steal the tank. I thought I was free and clear, but he had a surprise for me. So there's no ATP or repair on this, so I've got to get out of here. They may have another rocket, so I go in a circle, and as I'm doing that, I notice that I believe the same player appears in another vehicle. Sorry. Right, we got that one, but here's a serious one. As you can see, I'm genuinely trying to kill this tank and it's gone horrendously wrong. I've just used two C5s, one of my missiles, and it's not looking good. Okay, so I'm completely out of all explosives and EMPs, but they have to respect that they probably weren't counting them out and there's a madman hiding in the rocks trying to blow them up. So we've got ourselves a bit of a standoff. I use the armor tracker to just stay hidden and wait for my rockets to recover. Okay, he's shooting at someone else. He's lost interest in me. Here's the chance. Right, the okay, he jumped out to try to kill me. Hits me with a savage C5, but look top right. I got so lucky. They killed themselves. Are we going to get away with it? All right, that's number three. Now this one's special because I didn't have to fire a shot. Okay, so the landmine crippled it. I'm determined to chase it down. And yes, I'm being silly at the moment. I could shoot this tank whenever I want, but I'm trying to get the capture. Listen carefully and you'll hear the engine switching off. So I mistook the sound of Blasco's scrambler for the sound of a repair tool. So I thought I was about to get the drop on them. Caught the driver having a toilet break, and uh, yep, I think we got it. That's tank number four. 
Now the player's name was ALTS Scoot. I stayed where I was determined to get this really low flying Apache that was just flirting with me and then this happened. The player came back, blew me up, cleaned up the mess. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flip that to a loss. I'm afraid that's not a successful capture. Right, I don't want to overdo a joke too much. Suffice to say that for the rest of the evening I continued to capture tanks and you get the idea by now. So what I want to do here is show you that if you really don't have another choice, using the repair tool to kill a vehicle is actually a viable strategy. And here are the couple of examples that are really going to prove it. So on this first one, I come up against a wildcat that's currently engaged in the battle with a helicopter. And I think in all of the noise, they just genuinely didn't notice that I got up on the back of them, positioned myself prone behind the turret, and they couldn't differentiate me from the damage from the helicopter fight they were having. And I was able to just stay there and get the kill. I actually felt quite bad about this because I loosely know this player, the Hip Cafe TH. Uh, TH means Thailand for anybody who's not on the Asian server and he's a really solid lad to play with, so sorry about that mate. And I'm afraid it only got worse. Like I said, I did all of this in the space of one evening. I ran into him again in the next round. And uh, I had to get a little creative, a little bit Spider-Man when he pulled away from me. Now I don't quite well understand, technically I killed myself, uh, I think the turret sprung up and killed me. But yeah, here's another one, you can see this is a two person crew, they've got the gun and they've got the turret. If you jump up and you go prone and you position yourself behind the gun, based on my experience for this evening, they can't get you. Got a sniper as an extra bonus. Right, let's end on some funny. So needless to say, this would go wrong and I would die quite a lot. So here are some of my favorite bloopers from the evening. In this one, I was stalking a wildcat and it didn't go quite right. So we got the vehicle, but the previous owner, unfortunately, wasn't very good at parking and they've wedged it on top of the pipes, so nothing I can do. Never mind. This is a great uh, public service announcement for why you shouldn't try to hijack a map falling off a mountain. Turns out gravity is a thing, and finally the ultimate poetic justice. I deserve this given how I've been behaving for the evening. The repair tool repaired me to 100% health back at the spawn point. So guys, that's it. This was just a bit of fun that also had the message in a bit of a pinch. The repair tool is quite useful and thank you Dan again for enlightening me on that. It's your fault that I'm now a car thief. I have to admit, it is strangely satisfying stealing a vehicle and then turning the weapons on the people who had it. Um, you won't get any scoreboard recognition for it. But the other upside is it denies the other team the ability to respawn the vehicle. But look, in all seriousness, when you're playing and you're taking it seriously, always keep yourself open for the opportunity for the hijack. You never know when it's going to turn up. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.